his homemade water rocket belt to lift his daughter out of a lake. I work with garage inventors like him to push their inventions to the next level. So we're trying to make a new water rocket belt powerful enough to lift me out of a lake. Thing is, we've got just two days to make it happen. And the humidity here is keeping our fiberglass seat from drying. That's terrible. Can we just leave this out here to bake? Is that okay that we put this out here? Because I don't yeah. know what else out of here. You think this will this, this will cook it a little bit? Yeah, I think it'll be okay. All right, man. While the seat dries, Tim and I get to work on the plumbing for our new rocket belt. The thrust from the jet ski is going to be the same. In order for our new belt to lift more weight, we have to make more efficient use of that thrust. So we're going to take that old T fitting that didn't work so well, turn it into a Y fitting. So what this will end up looking like is basically we end up merging two of these together. So you're talking then, about you want to cut this this way. Yeah, so basically this end of this ends up being a circle. What do you think? It's starting to look like uh, something, isn't it? How you doing? Doing good. It's coming off? That hardened up pretty well. Looks like Zach was right. Yeah, Hot as like mix. And I was wrong. Better be nice to him. <laughs> I am. He's a good guy. I, I was wrong. All right, John, I get the message. All right. So to finish the seat, Zach cuts the fiberglass form, glues on a $20 yoga mat for padding, and adds the seat belts from the original rocket belt. Oh, sweet. I'm suspecting it's got to be lighter than that last one. Oh, sure. Yeah, you want to figure out how much it weighs? All right. What are you seeing, Luke? 20 pounds? Well, let's see what the other one weighs. What do we have, Luke? 30. 31. 11 pounds lighter. So we did make it lighter. The original jetpack was made out of PVC, plumbing pipe. You go into the store and buy the fittings. This pack has to be stronger and lighter. We're making it from aluminum, which means Tim has to make all of the fittings. So that looks that's pretty, pretty snug. Just getting more thrust won't make this rocket belt fly. We have to be able to steer it. So we'll attach a couple of bike handlebars to the thrusters so they can rotate inside the Y pipe. What we need to do now is put these metal washers in there, and then there's going to be the ball bearing. Bearings are falling out, John. You're, you're. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. We had it. I got it. You're killing me. I'm gonna go ahead and start the other one because right. you're taking a long time. <laughs> one, two, seven. So what to it, John? I'm getting tired. Okay, that's looking good. It feels pretty good. We've got a crowd of people coming to see this thing in the morning, so we're not stopping. In order to attach the pipes to the seat, Zach is designing and custom cutting rubber clamps. Did you program all this? Yeah, I wrote the program that cuts it out. Can we put one on here to see how they look? Yeah. Let's see how they clamp together there. Okay, cool, cool. It takes so long to fabricate all of these precision parts. I'm stressed, man. That on the morning of our test launch, our rocket belt is still in pieces all over the garage. We have to get this whole thing assembled still, since yes, it's a part and we, we have not assembled it. We've got together. pieces everywhere, mm -hmm. and until you put it together, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Okay. It's like you got some washers. Okay. We have got to go, guys. All right. This looks like uh, 30 centimeters. It looks like it needs to go toward you, John. The next thing we need to do is mount some handlebars. What we'll do is get these level. Zero here, Zach. Okay, we're good. This is going to be fine. 